Hey, this is Mike Johnson, and I'm making a quick video to show you how you can use Niche Genetics or even the Google Keyword Planner, for that matter, to find niches you know, faster than maybe you have been in the past. And if you have Niche Genetics, you're gonna see how easily you can find niches that you can build auto blogs on, or any kind of niche blog, or even your PBM blogs. So, I'm gonna walk through this real quick. And I'm inside of Niche Genetics here. This is the main dashboard. You can see um, main, you know, my recent searches, my popular searches. What I did was, you know, for this example, let's let's look at what what niches are about. We want to find something that's, you know, relatively medium to low competition. Of course, the lower competition, the better. Um, but it it has to be something that can also make money. So we have to look at it from those two aspects. You know, low competition uh, makes money. Oh, and then it also needs to have traffic to it. You know, organic traffic that we can generate from making a niche site in this. Uh, you know, and rank it in Google quick. So um, you can go to any top level. You know, with niche genetics, you can go to any top lo level category. It doesn't matter. Uh, back pain here. You got video marketing weight loss SEO you can go and hit any top level uh, search on this no matter what you know you're think of something that you're, you really like and literally click on it or enter the keyword and search it now they have where you can search through all the different countries that Google represents and of course I'm going to use Google US here and uh, what I did was clicked on weight loss and here we are in the top level category of weight loss and of course you know, gets a 31 uh, rating, pretty difficult niche to jump into is weight loss. But, you know, if you want to go down through here a little bit, you'll see that there's a tremendous amount of content for weight loss. So that tells us there's just a lot of sub niches. And you can see there's a lot of affiliate products down here as well. Um, but where I, I like to jump into is I like to go into the long tail because the long tail helps you tell the story of what is out there uh, as far as sub niches go. And that's what we're looking for. Looking for something that's, you know, in a profitable niche and that it's easy to attack. And we do that by, you know, finding those top level niches and digging down into them. And so go ahead and you click on the full report link here uh, in the long tail section and I mean you can get the same thing out of the Google Keyword Planner if you spend some time in it and and do that this just gives it to you a little bit faster and a little bit easier to work with so if I clicked on this it would take me to this page here where I have all these long tail keywords listed out and you say well you got like 300 of these keywords what do you, you know what are you going to do? You're going to search for every one of these. No, no. What what we do is, is we go over here and we see, you know, what is kind of a low competition type item. You do that by looking at the search results, and when you click on search results, um, up or down, you get the ones that are have probably the highest amount of you know competition in there, in the search results versus the lowest. And uh, so here. You know at the lower end you're gonna see you know we have a lot of there's a lot of trash stuff you know that's that's bait this is all celebrities weight loss stuff that really wouldn't you know be something we could build a website on although you could always build a ce celebrity weight loss site and and really take advantage of all these these stars and and make a site out of it and try to take advantage of this which is the average search per month and normally uh, for a top level, you know, idea or niche for a auto blog, we look at you know about a thousand searches per month because that that gives us a good baseline. Because after that, all our blog posts are going to be built. You know, our primary blog posts for our primary pages, our, our money pages are going to be built off of high value sub niche, you know, sub long tail keyword. Uh, that we can use to create blog post titles and rank. It's the same concept, just we're now doing it at the blog level. You know, at the sub sub niche level, we would call it for our long, long tail keywords. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Now, when we look at this, you search through, and you're going to continually look down through. And it also a great indicator of value is over here in the CPC 
section, the cost per click, and that's going to tell you, hey, people are paying advertising for these particular keywords. Um, that's a hefty amount there, $23.44 cost per click for Trisha Yearwood weight loss. That, that means a lot of people are advertising there, and it's, it's only got 1,900 searches per month, so it means that's a very com competitive you know, as far as advertising is going to get that click rate up that high but it could be a lot of value if you're able to slide in there but um, we look through and we look through and and we can keep going and sorting page to page here till we find something that that has a good amount of searches you can see this weight loss carries a tremendous there's a lot of searches per month here uh, for weight loss even at the, at the sub niche level there's a lot of searches so and you can look at your competition level over here it gets a little bit meatier as you go along but when you do find something that matches the criteria and you know you want to go a little higher you know say you want to make you know 2000 or whatnot as your your limit on your niche to try to give you even more searches per month more value i mean that's that's obviously what you want the more searches per month you can get the better all right so we do that we say we find our keyword and we say okay here is the long tail we're going to build our site off of um, we're going to look at building a site over you know uh, weight loss without exercising is going to be our primary focus we're not going to generate a ton of content but we're going to focus we figure we can focus several really really good money pages on this and then do a lot of associated content to push people to those money pages and rank those things pretty high. It'd be a great auto blog for how to lose weight without exercising. And you see here, the competition level is a moderate 26. It's on the higher side of moderate, so you know it's you know your mid-range site. But you see here that um, when you look at competition, that the the lowest in the top. This is from based on the top 10. The competition data right here on this line is based on the top 10 searches uh, that search results in Google so those numbers here represent that the lowest uh, page authority of any site is a 1 and uh, domain authority is a 46 so it's got some domain authority there but there is a possibility of sneaking in and longer tail keyword versions of this meaning your blog post titles so and you can look into that um, by going ahead and digging down into the long tail keywords for that niche and really you know doing the same thing we did before is you know looking at your search results um, and then looking at searches per month and finding you know those gold nuggets inside that to you know to build your blog posts off of and you can continue to work through that and you see there's a lot of similarities um, to different content but it will give you um, posts to write about and you can really focus in on that particular niche you say well doesn't it get a little redundant with some of the words and this is just an example here so don't don't take this as well every line's going to every blog post is going to say the same thing no this is just happens to be an example but if you understand what i'm saying here it you can spend some time in here and dig into the niche and not only will it give you your niche set of keywords that are the basis for your website but it will also build the content of your website for you by giving you the long tail versions here and you know you can also dig into the niche in different areas like okay how to lose weight without exercising what does that imply it implies diet so um, that's a great way you know different different diets that help you lose weight without exercising you can build off of that there is you know just every niche has its things like that and then you can go back in here and go back to the beginning enter your keyword and do a search and and dig into it and spend some time on it you can find tremendous tremendous value out there there are so many niches undeveloped out there it's ridiculous um, but this this shows you and then you can dig once you feel satisfied you found yourself something really good then you can really start looking at that competition a little bit tighter 
and by going into the competition analysis section here and really looking at you know everything about the top rated item and for that niche and then you know the the number 10 ranked post it can really give you an idea of where you need to be in order to rank for that particular niche and if you see if you look at the competition and you say man this this is pretty tough this looks pretty tough I don't like this okay so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start you know maybe looking in a different direction uh, a different niche or maybe another sub niche of that particular niche you know and then find out what you're happy with and go from there but remember I mean you still always you know when you go into those those keywords whatnot you know you want to be able to go down here into the um, affiliate product section you can see here products for eBay products for Clickbank products on Amazon there you know it's obvious here for this particular niche that it's going to be something that can be monetized the traffic's there you know 2k searches a month it's got a decent cost per click it's not super high but decent anything with losing weight is going to have some money in it and uh, the competition is not too bad especially with titles so being able to sneak in here and get some traffic out of this and making some money on this niche is definitely possible definitely possible so that's what you got to look at you got to be flexible there's no hard and fast rules here you have to use a little bit of ingenuity and uh, take the data and see what what it feels like and go from there and uh, that's that's really it I mean using this tool you can use the Google Keyword Planner the same way obviously you don't get the all this other great data because I mean when you dig into the niche and you say hey this is the niche I'm going with you get down and you say okay I'm going to start writing writing my blog posts how can I optimize my blog posts well you get into the LSI keywords here all right and the LSI keywords help to create that relationship in your post so you take and you write your blog post using the LSI keywords and of course you click on the, the full report here to see all the all those you know keywords that are in there and and use that to uh, obviously develop out your blog posts and maximize your SEO uh, impact there but then you can also look at tags how to these are great you know when you see these questions and stuff down here these are great ideas for blog post title because people are asking these questions and and wanting answers for them you know especially down here in these questions so there is just an immense amount of data here for you to take advantage of in this genetics and as a niche genetics user uh, you have a lot of flexibility and ability to pick powerful niches to start making money with your with your blogs now so uh, I don't know of another tool that makes it quite as easy as this I know uh, long tail pro just came out again but it's it's still I don't think has the power that this does with all the data in it uh, that niche genetics has so Go ahead, uh, jump into niche genetics, start finding yourself some great niches, and uh, I'm going to make another video here, and we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, developing, uh, doing some video ranking, and using uh, niche genetics to help you out with that as well.